Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bima from How to Geek, and in today's tutorial guide video, I'm going to show you how you can reset and change your password if you've forgotten your password in your TransferWise Money application. So, without any further ado, let us get started. First of all, what you want to do is actually make sure you have the TransferWise application, also known as Wise application installed on your phone first if you don't have the application installed on your phone on if you're on your android device and simply open the google play store and if you're on your ios then open the app store once you've opened the app stores on your respective devices on the top of the screen you can see the search box click on the search box and type in transfer wise once you type in transfer wise the application will load and if you're on your android device then again you will have to click on the green install button in order to install the application and if you're on your ios device you will have to click the cloud like icon in order to verify the download with your apple id password depending on whichever security methods you have so once you are sure that you have actually installed the application on your phone simply click on the application to open it and here you can see we have been given two options at the bottom of the screen which says login and register and if you don't know how to register and sign up an account on the transferwise money application then click on the i icon on the top right side of the screen where we show you how you can register an account on transferwise application for absolutely free but for this video we're going to learn how to change our password so at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side click on the option which says log in once you click on login as you as you know that we actually we don't remember our passwords so you can see we have been given an option to enter our email address and our password but assuming that we actually don't know our password and we are learning how to reset our password then underneath or below the login box you can see the option which says trouble logging in click on the text which says trouble logging in and here you can see that you, you can select an issue which says I've forgotten my password to step login isn't working. I need to change my phone number. I need to change my email. My account was deactivated or something else. What we want to do is select the first option which says I have forgotten my password. So once you click on I have forgotten my password, you can see we have been granted a new option where you can see the reset password button. Simply click on the reset password button in the blue box. Now what you need to do is simply enter only the email address which you use during your sign up process. So what you want to do is enter the email address which you use during the account creation. Once you enter your email address make sure you have typed in correctly because the reset link is going to go and deliver to this email address. So once you have typed in the email address you can see the option reset password. Simply click on reset password. As you can see your reset email is on its way, please check your email inbox. We have sent you an email that will let you set a new password. Simply click on OK, got it. And as you can see, we have actually already received the mail from the TransferWise application. So simply click on the email or open your inbox. And here you can see, hello, do you need a new password coming right up to get a new password for your account? Just click the button below. So simply click on the button which says get a new password. Now it will open a web application and again it will send an approval to one of your registered devices. What you want to do is click on the notifications and click on approve. Once you click on approve and you go back to the link then you can see again that you have the option to enter your new password which must contain a letter and a number and a minimum of 9 characters. Make sure you enter your new password very very correctly. Once you've typed in your new password, you can see that it, now that it is a secure password because I have actually included all the upper cases and lower cases. Now, if you're not sure whether you have typed in the password correctly, on the right hand side of the screen, you can simply click on the eye icon in order to view your password. And once you enter your new password at the bottom, you can see the option confirm in the blue box. Simply click on the button which says confirm. And as you can see, we have successfully set up a new password. Now, whenever you log into your TransferWise application, now you need to log in with using your new password, which we just updated, and you will be successfully logged into your account without any issues at all. So we hope this video was really helpful to you guys. If it did help you in any way, then do make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because we will bring you more awesome videos like this one on our channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video.